Hello, and welcome to Think, if that's how it's pronounced. Finnick, Finck, no clue. It's Fire Nuclear Crocodile Killer. What does that mean? No clue on that either. It's been a long time since I played a Niflis game, Niklas Nygren, and I thought it was about time. I'm also hoping that by me playing this, it will complete the ritual to summon Niflis to descend upon us yet again with a new game, because he's been kind of off the radar for a long time. Since Knit Underground, he made one game called Urnog, which I have not played yet. I don't really remember. I, I know there was like something... I watched the trailers and saw a bit about it, and it didn't really click with me. It didn't really feel like the type of Niflis game that I would enjoy, but I still want to try it out at some point in the future. But he made that game, and then he's made some little experiment games. He made a series called, like, Seven Stuff. It's Seven Light Years, Seven Nano Cycles, and Seven Meditations. All pretty neat games, just tiny little concepts. I might end up just making one video per game for that at some point as well. But beyond that, he's just kind of, for one thing, left his uh, his homepage down. It's been broken for over a year. Luckily, you can still get the games and get to the forums and all that, so it's still technically functional, but there's not much there. And he's uploaded a couple videos. He's been playing around a lot with, uh, it seems like, some VR stuff and some more 3D stuff and some dynamic music and procedural music stuff seems to be what he's kind of interested in recently. So I don't know what he's doing beyond that, if he does have any other plans for any major games. I hope this will summon him. Now, this game, Think, I meant to play a long time ago, but for some reason, it just broke on my PC. I don't know what happened. One day I could play it, and then later on when I tried it again, when I was like, oh yeah, I should let's play that, it just wouldn't run. I, I couldn't run it no matter what I did. I tried, like, compatibility mode and all that. Nothing worked. And recently, like last week or something, I, on a complete whim, for no reason, I didn't think about it, I just saw the my Niflis folder and just tried running Fink, and it runs. I don't know what happened. But I'm glad, now I can let's play the game. Haven't let's play this one, haven't played this one. I started playing it on my own when it like came out or at some point many, many years ago. I believe this is a game that came out, it was after Knit Stories and after Night Sky, but before, was it after Syrah as well? But then before Knit Underground and The Great Work, which I think were later. And yeah, I just, I played it for like five minutes, ten minutes, and then just stopped for kind of no reason. And now I'm here to let's play it again. Well, not again, I'm here to let's play it. So, let's do that. Let's rekindle my Niflis spirit, because I've been feeling in the mood lately. No idea how long this game is, how long it'll take. We'll see. There's info and credits here. Apparently the game title is by Linus Anderson. No clue who that is, but I guess it was like Niflis asking him, hey, make a title for my game, and he just said something random, and then that was the title, I would imagine. But let's check it out. Well, um, I'm late to class because... Tutorial. So, oh, there we go. That was kind of weird. Press the left and right arrow keys to move. Press S to jump. Tutorials, 0 out of 2, total 25. So there's 25, like, golden coins in the game, I suppose. Uh, there is an option here. I can either record this game like this. I don't know if you prefer this, if you think this actually looks better. I kind of like the, uh, because this is, like, the correct aspect ratio, just scaled up to 1080p, which doesn't really do much, but it's there. I kind of prefer the stretched version, I think. I just, I like it more just having everything. I don't think it looks stretched out in any way. So I might just stick with this unless people are really adamant about the fit version being the be better one. So let me know if you have any opinion about that. But otherwise, let's, let's go. Can't go back home. 
There's A and S are keys. Nothing else does. Nothing else does anything except for spacebar, which kills you and sends you back to the previous checkpoint. I see. That is the same as it was in uh, Knit. I'm pretty sure Knit stories. Stand on top of an object and press A to pick it up. When you're what? I'm falling. I'm just infinitely falling. Okay. When you are holding an object, press A to throw it. Or you can just place it down with a down. You can tap up to throw it up. Oh yeah, it even says here. You can jump with it as well. Press up arrow. Oh no, that I thought that was going to say like press up to throw a block up. Press up arrow to enter a door. Using a door will also save your game. I see. So yeah, we have to just like stack up some blocks here. I don't know how many. Three? Yeah, three is fine. Can I take a block with me? Maybe there's a golden coin over here? If I stack up? Probably should stack up. Uh here instead to save on a block. Oh, whoops. Do I need more? I need to stack up there as well, maybe? Whoops. Struggling a little bit with the controls, remembering, and no, I cannot do that. And there's nothing else I can do if I jump to the left here, you just die. Okay, I probably have to, yeah, redo all this now. That's fine. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Maybe this is just in the entire tutorial there are two coins, and not just on this one screen. I hope that's it. So let's just grab a box and see if I can keep one with me. I assume I'm just gonna toss it over my head when I press up here. No, it just disappears, okay? Yeah, still zero out of two. Press down arrow to drop a box you are holding directly underneath yourself. Yep, already figured that one out. So drop it down here in order to jump up. Makes sense. Can't see anything here. Jump while holding a box and press the down arrow in midair to extend the jump. Oh, I see. That's cool. Maybe I could have done that on the first screen. Oh no, but I'm right here. This is the first screen, so it wouldn't have mattered. All right, good to know. Hello. You will jump higher when holding a bird. Oh. I can bully the bird. I see. And then I can also throw it down to like jump even higher. And then it dies when I go through. Yep. Okay. Also, I'm having trouble with OBS. For some reason, OBS lags a lot. Oh. Press spacebar to restart a level if you are stuck. I guess I just got lucky. 20% chance I picked the right one. Cool. Uh, OBS just lags, and I don't know what's up with that. Like, the... It just has frame drops. Even though I'm recording a game like this, it should not have any problems at all. So, I don't know, if you have any suggestions, if you know OBS, don't worry, if you don't collect every coin in an area, you will later be able to revisit areas you've already been to. Cool, that's good to know. Feel free to offer any suggestions, because I would love to have this actually be smooth 60 FPS. So I already missed the two coins, but yeah, we'll worry about that later. Area 1. It's not an angry bird or anything. Oh, it is an angry bird! And I die if I fly too high. Okay, so red birds just try to fly off with you. They don't like being carried. But I can... I can drop it to get down again. And I can, like, let go. And these are bombs? Yeah, and I die, of course. Yep, if it blows up on me, I'm dead. And if I go in here, it's closed. Okay. So what do I need the bombs for? What do they do if I just, like, throw them at the bird? Whoops. 
Oh, the bird is gone. And now these are gone forever, or do they respawn if I, like, leave the screen and come back? No? Maybe I have to go through a door to respawn stuff? And, ah, that's where I need the, uh, the red bird. Hold on, let's carry the red bird all the way here. Oh no, red bird! Fuck. Okay. Can't let him fall down. I can't just use a blue bird, can I? That's not enough. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Wait, I have an idea. Oh, they just... Okay, they go off ledges. Damn. Hmm. Well, I should be able to just use the bird. Ah, uh, oh, but if I let go of the bird, it's gonna kill itself. Let's do this, and then quickly... Set it down there, just to stop the bird from dying. Now I can just stack up some boxes here. And I should be able to jump up with a blue bird, and not have to worry about the red bird fly- Oh, God, flying off with me. Yeah, there's just some massive frame crust, and I don't know what the fuck that's about, why that would even happen. I've tried so many settings, and it just doesn't... Oh, no! For fuck's sake. Oh, what the hell? Come on. Physics in a game like this? Really? Who would have thought? There we go. Got one. Oh my god. Okay, I need to lower my volume a little bit. The title screen is very quiet, but this is pretty loud. And these are death blocks. Yep. Can I blow up death blocks? Ah! Death blocks will instantly explode a bomb. And then obviously I can explode these ones. Great. What's this about? It's like, bombs are supposed to- Oh! If I take a bomb, and then place it down again on this, it resets the timer, I see, so you can like, ferry them forward and stuff. If I just kill myself, the bombs are back, because yeah, I want all the bombs in that case, maybe I need more than one. Or, well, maybe I need all six, rather. Do I need more than one bomb to- wait, hold on. Just in the center. Nope, that takes care of all of them. Good. Oh, can't go through, uh, two wide gaps. So what's this door about, then? Do I want to take this door? I guess I should. And now I can't go back, yeah. I guess that was probably a coin. That's fine, let's just take the most obvious path to begin with, and then I'll worry about coins later when I'm revisiting areas and stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure maybe up until that point with the, the bombs, I think I played, but past this point, I don't recognize any of this, so this is probably, probably new. There's something up there, like I need to put the box two steps to the left. Huh. Maybe I need to... Oh, I see. I need a bird to go into one of these things, and then I need to keep it on the screen so it doesn't despawn. And then... I guess I need two birds, because one, one time it needs to hit that orange button, and then it probably needs to hit this button, which it can only do from the bottom one. Yeah, that that's probably it. So we need two birds. But there's only one bird. And I can't get bombs, I have to come from another angle there. Blue block? But I can't 
get the blue block out. Oh, blue blocks slide. Goodbye, blue block. Okay, well, that's something to know. If I just go back out and come back in again. Shit. Oh, fuck. God damn it, blue block. Wow, that went super fast. Don't slide off. Don't slide off! Fuck you! God damn it. No! 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 Hold on! Oh my god, I got it. But now I probably can't even... Oh! Now I can get up here! That's what that was about, because I can't go through a door, or it'll it'll just reset. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. There we go. Yeah, let's do that, sure. So much for only going, like, the way you're supposed to go. Never mind that. And I can get the bombs here by just... Oh, no. I have to jump up one more time. Oh. Oh, I need the bird, I suppose. And then, I want the bomb, uh, the bird to not get killed by the, the bomb. I assume it can, I don't know for sure. My god, the frame rate is so bad! Hold on, can I, like, if I do a different scale filtering, like this, it's a little blurrier. Let's just see if that's, like, better performance. Not really. No, doesn't really matter. Oh well, I guess I'll I'll leave leave it for now and see. Cause I never know if frame crust is just something that I'm experiencing. Oh fuck, now it's gonna despawn. Right? I needed to like keep up with it. Oh no. It did its thing. But now it'll get trapped and I can't stop that. Unless I had like a blue block or something. Oh I'm supposed to slide in a blue block to get placed as a blocker. Wait, but this this button isn't even on anyway. Huh. And that just like destroyed a block there. What does that do? And now I can't get up again. One second. Let's try this. I changed the setting. I just want to see if this matters. Maybe. I'm not noticing any frame drops right now. It looks pretty smooth. We'll see if it happens again. Always some uh, headache trying to record stuff. All right, let's try this again. Do I need to stack these up or or no? Ah, couldn't take out more than that. Okay, so first, a block here. Make sure I don't fall down. Or I have to redo everything. That should slide into place then. Yeah, now I'm not noticing any frame drops whatsoever. Good. Seems it was just my processing priority. I had OBS set to above normal. Now I just turn that down so the game wouldn't lag. And hopefully that means the recording doesn't look worse or anything. Oh, well, that didn't work. God damn it. What is this about? How do you... How do you get this button pressed down? I mean, I guess this is already gone, but that... Did that come back? I don't fucking know what this is. Let's just leave it. Oh, wait. Oh, the key. Ah, I see. I, I did do it right by just pressing that button. Now I can get the key. Oh. No! Fucking hell. Oh my god. I didn't even realize what I was trying to accomplish here. Did 
there. And now I guess we have to like... Nope, it's just, it's just gone again. Huh. I don't feel like I can... Hmm. You can't jump like that, so you can't like... No, you can't like do a super jump or anything. There's no way I can jump up high enough to the key... ...without the bird. And I seem to need the bird to hit the orange button. I can't hit the orange button with only a slidey block, right? I don't think so. I I don't know. This is already too much for my brain. I guess we'll we'll just leave it for now. I'll worry about collectibles and stuff when I've figured out more of the game, I suppose, and stuff. Here's another one. Yeah, makes sense. And there's a bird. Is it enough to just have the bird, or do I need... Yeah, I need some blocks as well. Oh. God damn it. Why is everything so slippery in this game? It just slides off of everything. There we go. Alright, and to the left. I could probably jump up here with a bird, but that's close, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, can't do anything there. Oh. Nope, the frames are crusting up again. God damn it. Yeah, and that's a an enemy, of course. What the hell is going on with that? I, I just don't understand. The processing priority didn't work. It's still just like really jittery. That's annoying. Yeah? It just, it's consistently really choppy now. Kind of ruining my experience here. It's annoying. The music is nice. There's a coin. There's a green door. Maybe those doors are just like, you will get back here later. You just unlock those doors later on. This is, uh, this music is very, like, Knit-esque. I like it. Seems like I need more blocks. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Maybe I should try setting the game's processing priority to above normal. Maybe then it would compete enough with OBS. I, I might try that for the next episode. Wait, why did I... I can go back. Because, yeah, I want to try... Oh. Oh. Great, I got, I got one. One out of two. I didn't even mean that. I mean to go there. Huh? Oh! That explodes when you hit the... the black button? No? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. I see. So those are just remote detonated bombs. And then here I'll want to like, ferry up a bunch of red birds? Maybe not. Just have to time it. Oh, fuck. 
Maybe it's just middle land on one. Like that. No, bird. Holy shit, you can go fast. Oh my god, if you jump at the same time as you grab one, it just goes nuts. Maybe I should just do this instead. Just like... Stop... Stop it from going so fast. There we go. Sorry, bird. Alright. Maybe this is about a good place to end it. I see. Yeah, I get how to do this. Alright. I'm just gonna leave it off here for today. And... Yeah, I'll, I'll try one more time fiddling with more settings, but man, this is frustrating. Did not want the first episode to be like this when it's just, it's a fucking Niflis game. There's no reason why there should be any sort of stuttering just because I'm recording. I just don't get it. Stupid recording issues every time. Well, it's nice to be back playing a Niflis game, finally, one that I've been putting off for years and years and years. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!